Hello everyone, it's Gustav and welcome to you live from Oahu. It's April 25th, 2015, 8.36 in the morning. There's plenty of things that you could do to increase your sales, but one of the things I really want to talk to you about is identity. And when you take a look at what people do, it's important to take a look at what they find important. So uh, for me, I'm going to give you a couple of examples for me, and then you could take a way to figure out and, and look at ways to build the rapport and ways that you're doing stuff that, that you do, okay? So first thing is like, you know, I, I love to wear Aloha shirts, and I have one brand that I buy specifically, and that's Ren Spooner. And so, I mean, if you were going to talk to me about anything about Aloha shirts, just know that that's the brand that I'm going to talk about. You know, the other thing is, is, you know, I spend a lot of time out in Hawaii, so I have this, like, this idea, this concept built about, you know, things that are, that are cool out here, and there's definitely plenty of things that you could talk to me about about Hawaii. I could probably talk to you about all day long, you know, between the islands and the cool places to go. I was just over at Ted's Bakery and Sunset Beach, you know, places to eat. Now, that brings up another point is, like, places to eat and things that people enjoy. All these little tiny chains of incidents build a sphere around somebody. And you know, for you to figure out how you're gonna sell to them and how you're gonna get them into the process and, and what they're gonna do, you take a look at all those things that are involved around that process and you could talk about a couple of those things to get the person engaged. Now you don't have to talk about all of them. There's probably like 50, 60, 70 things that make up my identity, 100, 1,000, whatever it is, but I only need a couple of them that are gonna you know, grab me in and have overlap that are gonna have that conversation. Now here's the thing, you can't fake it. So if you don't know anything about that identity, the better thing to do is to ask questions than it is to assume. Because then that person, excuse me, that person's gonna go, why are you faking it? Like, they're not gonna say it to you, they're, word to word, they're gonna think it in their head. They're like, why are you faking it? Why are you creating problems for yourself? Why are you making this stuff, you know, you're, you're not real. So there's a picture and I'll grab it and I'll put it in the screenshot for you. And I'll, I'll put it up. And it's a, it's a guy DJing and he's got his hands on top of the turntables, except for there's a problem. There's no needles on the turntable and there's no records on the turntable and he, he looks like he's mixing he's got his hands up like he's mixing but he's not and so like when they did that that ad a bunch of djs got mad because you know that's part of their life is, is in livelihood is they know how that stuff's supposed to work so there was a mismatch of identity and a lot of times like advertising and salespeople, they don't understand how important this concept is and they'll mismatch so they'll think that one thing is going to lead to another and it really doesn't so pay attention to what people build around themselves it's like i mean if you go into somebody's office and they got tons of pictures of the ocean and you ask them about the desert that's a silly thing to do right so if you go to somebody's office and they're in a certain industry and all of a sudden you start talking about another industry and saying here's what we did for this industry here's what we did for this industry here's what we did for this industry and you keep talking about something that has not to not, nothing to do with them they're gonna be like look you're, you're you're at my building talk about my industry stop talking about all those other people talk talk to me about what you can do for me okay so pay attention to what you're doing with identity because it'll really help you out and just you know when you meet people and when you look at them here's what i do is i like to size them up i i look for symbols so the first thing i do is i look for symbols i'm like do they got a nike symbol on do they got a reebok symbol on do they have a burberry do i mean do are they wearing a rolex or are they wearing a casio i mean my casio has been over here so many times and it's been everywhere that i travel it's this thing this thing's a tank right and people well, why don't you wear a nice watch i'm like well i don't have to worry about anything out here if i bang this up against a rock who cares, right? So that's part of my identity. The way that I wear flip-flops or slippers as they call them out here in Hawaii, it's part of my identity. I, I like to wear shorts everywhere that I go. I don't like being cold. These are all things that build up about me and you should pay attention to what goes on to the person around you. Just start sizing people up and taking a look at them. What kind of shoes do they have on? And I'm not being like, don't be judgmental. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying take a look and see what it is that they make decisions on and, and how they are. And then that'll help you build the cell and the reason it'll help you build a cell is it'll give you like something to talk about it'll give you ideas about how that person makes their their decisions and their processes so like if i showed up in one of my custom suits i paid a lot of money for my custom suit so i'm not going to wear a cheap tie with a custom suit i'm not going to wear cheap shoes with a custom suit it just doesn't make sense right so they can spend a ton of money on a suit only to wimp out on the on the tie and whip out on the shirt and whip out on the cufflinks Right at that point, you would have definitely things to, to talk about with me. And you know, if, if I'm dressed like that, there's definitely there's definite anchors and things that you can talk about and and relate to. Versus when I'm out here on the beach and I got the Aloha shirt on, I got the slippers, I got the shorts, you know, I got the sunglasses so I, so that I can see. But there's definitely a lot of things that you could pick up from identity. Okay. Now, if you could do a small favor for me in the box down below, leave a comment, question, or story, that'd be fantastic. To the right or to the left, there's a subscribe button. Subscribe, and then send it out to all your friends via StumbleUpon, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, Scott Sullivan Bell, coming to you live from Oahu. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Aloha.